What's going on you lot? Welcome back to another video here on the Hashtag United channel and welcome to another friendly. No, it's not a league game. You may remember a few weeks ago we played Great Waking Rovers FC who are in fact two steps above us in South End away and we've come away again today to Hornchurch to play AFC. Hornchurch are in fact three steps above us. I'm coming to you from the stand actually because I haven't turned the floodlights on so I can't do my usual bits of banner on the pitch so I found a nice little comfy seat and I have to say the ground is looking really really good so I'm excited but we are in fact expecting a yellow warning of snow so hopefully that doesn't come but I mean actually you know what if it comes it comes we deal with it, it adds to the atmosphere but uh, yeah tonight should be pretty interesting we have a depleted squad I think we're actually um uh, lacking some strikers, which is going to be quite interesting because some of you guys might know a centre midfielder in the squad called Lee Hersett. He has a brother called Jamie, and his brother Jamie actually used to play for AFC Hornchurch. But for one night only, he's going to be playing for Hashtag United and be playing his old team. So that'd be pretty interesting, and we'll grab a chat with them both together and see what they have to say. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on. Who's being tickled? And actually, in fact, who's tickling? It's Jamal. How are we, Mr. One Five? Uh, we are back. Still being That's how we are right now. Back. What have you been up to? Been keeping yourself busy? Just working, you know, just trying to make content. Your dad, you know. Love that. Stuff, usual stuff. Click the i button to subscribe to Jamal, as per usual. Yeah, but right now I'm just looking after my other son. <laughs> oh, I can't show that again, for God's sake. Cause Cause little Hurst is hurting. No, he's alright. You're alright, yeah. I'm always hurting, but I got um, Jamal to look after me. Yeah. No. Excuse me. Steve. What am I supposed to be? What are you for He just said daddy, so I had to kind of. <laughs> I had to kind of go Steve, to what do you have to say today? You spend all your time fixing. I know, TLC yeah. is, is number one priority in every game. Steve is about. an absolute legend, <laughs> and I'm very grateful for everything. I wish you were my dad, Steve. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> if he was our dad, what? We'd have our own clubs. That's true. Think about it. We'll have to think about that. This man produced genius. <laughs> man, man has the Midas nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a legend. Hang on. So what's the situation? What do we What do we want to talk about this week, though? My trim. I know most of you are thinking, what's going on, Faz? What happened to your trim? All right, 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 let's have a little look. There you go, look. I actually like it, though, still. No way, LP? I like it. This? Yeah. This ain't even my final form, LP. Next week. So when are you, bu you booked in next Saturday? Saturday, yeah. It's been four weeks. I normally get trim once every two weeks. Okay. So stay tuned. Shout out, Barber. Week, we're back. The trim is back. Jamal, let them know the trim is back. You never left. <laughs> a bit of insight into the opposition you guys might know about, but we obviously ground share with Harry and Gabe Barrow. Some of you guys may or may not know already. They've recently had Wimbledon in the FA Cup at home. And this team are in the same division. So that is very interesting. And over here, we've got the Instagram Live, which happens most games, if we can get it on, uh, that we obviously go to. So if you guys aren't being updated with that already, be sure to click the link in the description and be updated with our socials. And actually come on over to talk to me. This is like Inception sort of, I don't know where I stand in this. I don't know who's gonna be watching this at what point, but that is, that's confusing. Rick. Oh, he don't like me today. <laughs> Why do you not like me? What's that? Oh, I've just got no time for any of you except for him. No, what, what's, no, 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 what's the problem? Why do you not like me at the moment? Tell the people. Do you know what, right? I've been battered. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere from that. From what? Oh. Tell us. What's actually happened? Work, mates. No, but no Instagram, one has any context. They don't know. They don't follow us on Twitter, which they should. We need to tell them why, though. Why? No. Okay, right, so I'm going to insert the photos now. This is why Rick doesn't like me. All these photos have been done on Twitter. <laughs> I think they're brilliant. I've done a little slideshow on my Instagram as well. I think people need to know about it. That made me laugh. Thank you very much. Well, hopefully there'll be more photo opportunities throughout the season for you to get absolutely rinsed at work. <laughs> You're welcome. Running the training uh, for the pretty much warm-up today. Yeah, just taking a warm-up for the boys. A um, little rest for me tonight needed, but um, we've got five or six that could really do with the minutes. Yeah. Um, and uh, gives them an opportunity to get some good minutes on a good pitch against a good side, so it's perfect for us. Where's Tancer? Yes. I'm blue, double D, double dart. You're looking double blue today, mate. How does it feel? 
Uh, it feels nice to be blue. How does nice it feel? How does it feel to also be probably one of the most interacted comments uh, and impressions on the hashtag yeah, Instagram? Have we, not had a, have we not had a match since then. Yeah. I don't know if we've had one then. 32,000 likes. Well, it's actually for the back, but I mean, if it was the front, it probably would have got half the likes. Oh my God, that, that's it. That is the egg. I can't believe it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so I've heard a few things. Uh, first thing I've heard, you've had a little shape up. No. No? Is that, no. that a haircut? Is it good today? <laughs> well, I'll retract that comment, but it looks fine. But anyway, you've gone from Sunday League to a uh, first team of squad again. How does it feel? Feels good. Uh, finally getting noticed. But um, yeah, it's a lot different Sunday to Saturday, but been enjoying it, working hard in training. Playing a lot of football. Playing a lot of football, yeah. Devs, probably team news isn't needed tonight, but uh, context behind this friendly. Couple of changes. Couple of changes, yeah, yeah. Um, pretty much the same as um, a couple of weeks ago, we, uh, Wakering. Um, we've got some boys coming back from, from fitness, um, some boys that haven't had um, games. Um, it's a good opportunity to get minutes into them. So, um, you know, the likes of Isa, um, Couchy, Tashan, uh, Kane, recently, you know, been looking to get good and stampede, you know, a good. Um, hopefully 90 minutes out of, out of at least you know, the majority of those guys. Uh, and then for the others, just ticking over really against really good opposition, three three levels above us. Um, be a great test for us. Um, yes, you know, it's it's good for us that we get invited to, to play this kind of calibre of, of opposition to, to keep us, you know, keep our momentum, keep us ticking over, uh, keep a competitive element. You know, because it feels a long time and you're just going yeah. Saturday to Saturday to you get to this stage of the season. So that's the idea of tonight. Results not important, performances and individuals. It's allowed the likes of Jamel to come in tonight as well, who's not always available, but he is. So because he's not always available, it means it's really difficult to consider him for, you know, first team league games because those that are. So, um, yeah, that's what it's about really tonight. But obviously not forgetting, we do have a player that doesn't usually play for us playing today. Yeah, as if one wasn't enough, we've got another Hursit with us tonight. <laughs> um, Lee's brother Jamie, he's, he's going to play to help us out. Funnily enough, he, he did play for, for Hornchurch um, until fairly recently. Um, and he's now, you know, he's, he's looking for a club. Um, we've got a couple of guys missing tonight, although we've got a big squad with, uh, there's a couple of areas where we're um, a little bit light, so he's going to help us out and we're helping him out by giving him some game time, so he'll, he'll feature at some point tonight, but it is, you know, um, pretty much it's, it's, it's a one-off, he's helping us, we're helping him. Lee? Yes. What are you saying, you good? Saying, yeah mate, buzzing for today, it's a bit uh, happy, but... Bef shut up. Who, uh, who's, who's, who's this? I'll let him introduce himself, to be fair. Uh, sorry then, who? Hey, looking brother, Jamie uh, Hersett. Jamie Hersett, so we've got double trouble. Double trouble I don't think Dev's going to be able to handle it. Maybe not. I don't know if he dances as much, but... We'll see what he's doing with a milli now. Come a bit closer, now. I want to look at you, Bo. But yeah, well, if you had a bit of stubble, if you had a bit of a beard, yeah, yeah. it takes me about four months. I was gonna say, yeah, in maybe another ten years, maybe. Really all, but yeah, he's here today. Get some minutes in, play with the boys against his former club, AFC Hornchurch. So uh, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be a tough game. Uh, but yeah, I've got to run in because Willow's calling me. Gone in. So, you go get ready. But obviously, it is your uh, ex team. You played with team. them for a while. Yeah, played them for four years, I think it was. So yeah, it's um, exciting. Be a really good test for us tonight. Obviously, we had, had a friendly a couple of weeks ago, uh, and this, this team are playing in the league above that. So, um, I'm not sure quite what they're going to be putting out. I'd imagine it would be a mix of, um, of first teamers and, and, and trialists, and similar to us people that need game time. So, it will be a really good test, but I expect us to work our socks off. Um, to do the right things at all times, so not, oh it's a friendly, so I'm going to, you know, play a straight ball into the middle with someone under pressure, knowing full well I wouldn't do it on a Saturday. It's the best kind of training session we can have, because it's a, a real game scenario. It will only benefit from it if we do things properly, yeah, and do things at the tempo. Those that have been playing regularly, you owe it to those that haven't, to make sure that we adopt the right attitude and, and, and treat the game properly as a competitive fixture. Results in these games are not important. 
I don't care about the results, I care about the performance. I care about whether people are doing things right individually and collectively. Right, make sure you, you know that every time we go out there's some form of scrutiny on us so we have to do ourselves justice in terms of what we do. Yeah? yeah. Enjoy Come yourselves. On, go. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Hashtag United match. It's a midweek friendly. Just like a few weeks ago, we took on a team two leagues above us. Tonight, we're taking on a team three leagues above us. We did well in our game against Great Wakering. Uh, we lost the game 2-0, but we could have won the game ourselves, to be honest. We had good chances. We used a, a different squad to normal, and that's what you're going to see again tonight as we take on AFC Hornchurch. This is Hornchurch's stadium. Guess what it's called? Hornchurch Stadium. The clue's in the name. So, joining me tonight, we have a special guest, someone that has played for Hashtag United on the virtual pitch and the physical pitch all the way from the US of A. It's Michael LaBelle. How are you? Thanks, Spence. Happy to be here. Great to have you here. You're looking forward to calling the shots. Your first ever Hashtag Non-League game. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a real English experience right now. It's cold. It's raining. The pitch looks a little, a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the better pitches, to be honest with you, mate. It's a decent stadium here, to be fair, Hornchurch. They are playing three leagues above, uh, as we mentioned, uh, in the uh, Bostick Premier League, which feeds into the National League. So it's decent. They're currently 18th in their league. Let's take a look at the team we're using tonight against Hornchurch. So in goal, we have Jamie Jackson, although he's running late right now. I'm, has he made it? I think he's made it. OK, in defence, we've got Jamel Akeem coming back in for only his third appearance of the season, I believe. He's at left back tonight. Peds and Stampy are at centre-back in that same partnership we used in the last friendly. Kane Brogan comes back in at right-back. We're resting the likes of Captain Jack and Farai and Tom Williams. In midfield, we have Lee Hurst alongside Tekka's Guru, a.k.a. Isa, in centre-mid. On the left, we have Aaron Couch. He did a great job at left-back in the last friendly, back in his more familiar position. On the right, we have vice-captain or captain for tonight, Ryan Adams. In behind the striker, Albie Keith. Another chance to play more minutes in his new club for Hashtag United. And up front, Tashan Richmond gets the nod as we have no Adji and no Neil Richmond available. On the bench, we have the White Kante, Wes Tansa, Ricky Evans, George Valentine, Bryce Ngarno, Ross Gleed, Jamie Hersett, brother of Lee Hersett, and Maverick Gore, who's had one game on the bench so far for Hashtag. He didn't come on. He's been doing really well in the Sunday League, so we might see him tonight. And Hornchurch kick off here at the Hornchurch Stadium. Capacity three and a half thousand. Just under that tonight in attendance. Uh, by about 3,400. Oh, it's a long shot from Hornchurch. Ooh. It's actually ended up being very wide and it might even go for a throw in, you know. No, it's a goal kick. First half chance of the game. Like I said, the communication is good. We haven't given up any real opportunities. We had one long shot that ended up looking like a corner flag long shot. So, Chance to the left back to whip one in here. It's not a bad ball at all. Both his players went to the front post. I was about to say curse of the commentator. Yeah. Couch, he's just holding it up for us now. Oof. He's still got it. There's two of them on him. He's going to come across to a Hornchurch player now. Can they create something from this? Playing it over. Headed on. That's going to run out of playing out of danger. Good pressure eventually there. Ryan Adams was leading it with Isa to make them do it. This ball's gone very high from Jacko, but Ryan Adams tries to take it down. Left back had a hand over him. It's a foul. Hornchurch taking the free kick short here. Coming forward now with number two, Bentley. Ball into the box. Comes across. Is that a handball? No. Ryan Adams comes to help out the defence. Hornchurch still with it now. Back to the left back. Porter plays it inside. Good work from Albie Keith here to get the ball back for his club. Ball to the left back, taking too much time. Isa finds Ryan Adams, trying to get Albie on the ball now. Can we see what he can do? He's going to pass it over to Lee Hurst here. He's going to wind up a shot on that left foot. He's hit it. Asked the question at least. It could have had a dodgy bounce. Not bad. Definitely could have had a dodgy bounce. First time, first shot on uh, on goal for us tonight. Is it 20 minutes into the match. Plays it over to the left back. It's good work from Hornchurch getting the ball forward here. Good football. His pass oh. bounces off Ped's calf. Chance for 11. He's going to try and get a shooting opportunity. Stings the gloves of Jacko, but he's there to mop up the rebound. Yeah, well done from Jacko. Each had a couple testers now. Look confident. Maybe he didn't need the warm up. Running late wasn't an issue. Tight first half here. Definite push on Jack on uh, Rich Richmond there, Tashan. Good little back heel there. From Hornchurch, nice football between the 7 and the 11. That's Christo and Vaughan. Ball in! And it meets 
It beats Jacko, I should say, at his near post. He won't be happy with that, Mike. I feel like I jinxed him. I said the last one looked easy. Jamel a little bit out of position there. I'd like to see that on an instant replay. Jacko furious with his defense. I don't know if it got a deflection or anything. I don't think it did. Good to see us get maybe some more shots away against the keeper. Jamel with a throw down the line. Goes through. Albi finds Couchy. It's through to Albi now. He's not got much to aim at. He can just try and hold the ball up. Goes back to Couch. Can Couch deliver? A nice little Cruyff turn there. Some step overs. Ball in. Wins the corner. Good from Couch. First corner of the match. We'll take that. Aaron Couch with the corner here. Put in. Good Is delivery. Is there a chance for Albi oh. Who wins the header, but it's off target. Lovely delivery. It's one of those balls you knew was going to be attacked. Chance for Albi, maybe one of his best chances yet in a hashtag shirt. Came close in the last friendly. And he's missed the target on that one. Another goal kick for Jacko. Tashan wins the flick on. Gets it to Albi. Tashan stays down. Albi getting stuck in to get the ball back. Tashan not looking good. I think he's got an ankle injury here. Maybe a sprained ankle? Taking his boot off, so. That's got to be a wrap then. That's a sign. He's thrown his boot away. So we're going to see Jamie Hersett come on. This is a good storyline, Mike. This is brother of Lee Hersett, who was supposed to be playing against us tonight. He's been released. He's got a chance to come in and get some revenge. Straight we're, back to Hornchurch. We're really struggling to get the ball at our feet. Yeah. Uh, we're not having... Uh, much much of the play uh, in terms of anything on the ground. It's a lot of going forward, going deep. And we're not winning the aerial pursuit either. There's a ball across here for Hornchurch. Jacko had to come and get it, and he did. Ryan with space. Now we've got the ball at Ryan's feet. Maybe the first time in the game. He's got Albi just inside. He's going to try and find Jamie Hurst. It. It's just too much on that ball. Oh, we've got to deal with that ball. It's been allowed to come through. Shot deflected by his own player. Now Stampy can burst forward oh, from centre-back. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Marcus Stamp. Oh, he's, he's just been beaten to the ball, but he's not going to give it up too easy. Stampy doing well to get Ryan Adams on the ball now. There we go. Ryan. Come on. Can he deliver? Put it into the box. Maybe his better option was inside for Albi. Stamp bursting through the defence there, though. Stampede, you might call it. Number 11's done really well here to get the ball in for Hornchurch. Needs to be cleared. It's going to come through to Albi Keith. Number 11 is Vaughan for Hornchurch. What a turn this is from Alby. Coming forward now. Making up some yards for Hashtag. Get this man on the ball some more. He's hit uh, it from very far out. But he needed support. He needed someone to drop it off to. He's run a good 50 yards there in fairness to him. Ball forward for Hornchurch. Stampy controls it on the knee. Gets it forward now to Alby. He's got some space here. Can he beat his man and get another shot away? Alby Keith trying to get it on that left foot. Goes over to Couchy. Couchy. He's got Lee Hurst inside. Hits it on the right foot. You know what? Ooh. It was rising. Not a bad effort. Not a bad effort at all. I'd like to see a show a little more patience, maybe a couple passes when we when we get into the final third. It looked like it was going to stay quite low, and it just seemed to pick up a bit of momentum, that shot. Ryan Adams back to Kane. Kane putting in a good area, but there's no one there ready for it. Needed to hold on to the ball for a second there. Pass inside here to the 11. The man with no shin pads cut out by Marcus Stamp. Only as far as the 7. Christo getting forward, gets a shot. It's rebounded. Deflected, I should say. Not long left in this half. The rain's coming down thick and fast. And that is the half-time whistle here at Hornchurch Stadium. It's 1-0 to Hornchurch at the break. Mike, your thoughts on the half? I still think it should be 0-0. Uh, we, we obviously were out-possessed, but in terms of creating opportunities, creating good chances, pretty even. We might even had a couple more chances than uh, Hornchurch. Yeah, there's certainly not been a load of chances, but we've done well against the team three tiers above. The defence, I think, has been solid. We just need to keep a little bit more of the ball and maybe try and put a, a bit more possession in, in, the, in the latter stages of their half. But we'll see what Devs has to say at the break and we'll come back soon for the second half. It's a good test for us and we've done OK. We've, we've worked hard out of possession because um, we've had to. I think the big difference is, you'll see, is when you're playing against sides and this level is how quickly they do things. How quickly. It's done with, obviously, better quality than you, you're used to facing, but it's done so much quicker as well. And that's where we're getting caught out. We're waiting to see what happens, and then by the time it does, we've lost it and we're under pressure. The few occasions where we've looked like we might threaten and be bright have come through you, Al. Brilliant, and I'll tell you why. 
Because what he's been prepared to do, what he's wanted to do, is drive forward with the ball and take the ball forward. Don't go straight down their throat. We've not got a natural centre forward in our side tonight. Right, we're asking people to play slightly out of position for it. So to, to look into hit them direct is a big old ask. Defensively, got to be more aggressive. It's good, but we're going to have to compete better. We're going to have to be more physical, get into the ball quicker. With too many of us are looking to mark space. To me, a try and I just think, oh, I might just intercept. And we've got to be prepared to go and be aggressive and try and win the ball. If you go and do it and they get by it and they beat us because they're better than us, don't worry, I can, I can deal with that. Right? But don't stand off and let them play around us. At least force them into, into doing something. Right, two changes for hashtag at the break. Ross Gleed and Faris Ngarno have come on. Lee Hursett and Simon Petty have gone off. We've also seen a change for Hornchurch, at least one, I think a few, but the goalkeeper has come on, and I think he's a foot taller in the second half. He's a giant, Mike. He could definitely dunk a basketball. There's no question about it. He's as tall as a goalpost. How, wait, how tall are these goalposts? Eight, eight foot eight. tall. I think he's close to seven foot. Which means we've got to keep the shots low. Keep them low. Make him bend. He won't like it. Jamel throws it short to Tekkers. Gets it back. Oh, knees it forward into space. <laughs> the problem is the pass is always to a Hornchurch player. Oh, Albie's let it go through here. Let's go, Albie. Good work from Albie. Keeper comes. Oh. Gets it across. Hornchurch defenders are ready. But goes straight to Aaron Couch, who drops the shoulder. Hits it on the right foot. Start Two coming down. High. Good idea. With seven on the ball. Trying to play it through the middle here for the 11. Jacko's going to have to come. Gets something on it uh -oh. with his feet. But he's going to come back to the 10. Farai gets an important touch on that just to slow things down and Jacko ultimately dealt with it. Hornchurch running through though. Shot from distance. Deflected. Oh, it's a good ball haul through here for Hornchurch. Going to be a first time shot. Jacko saves it. Does well as he was changing direction. Hornchurch getting a fit. The game in general is actually a bit more open right now. Chances coming through. Alby trying to work it on to Jamie Hursett. Yeah, I was going to say we look more dynamic going forward, but at the same time our back line is higher. Throw in for Hornchurch. Into the hashtag box. Headed away by Farai. Needs to be dealt with. Number eight trying to turn. Kane Brogan gets across. Ross Gleed now running forward as he likes to do. It's a free kick. Look how spread out we are. Like No kind of area to aim at, is there? It's just one guy. Tekkers has picked him out though. Jamie Hurst has kept this in. Oh, it's a nice little scoop over his player. It's going to fall to Iso. Heads it back. Hornchurch defender comes and gets it though. Oh, it's good. Football for I gets something on it. Does very well. I don't know if that's a foul, personally. I thought that was good. I think the ref was out of position there. He missed it. Just like I really want the heater. Ball in. Headed high by Hornchurch head. Number eight on the edge of the box. Hits it. Jacko just works it past the post. Good save. Big save from Jacko. Had to be done. Probably the best shot they've had on goal all game. Better than the one that went in, to be honest. Anyway, corner for Hornchurch. Good. Front post. Oh, it's fallen perfectly to the 11. Fallen out. This man of the back stick. Deflected. Needs to be cleared. It's an absolute pile up on the M3 in there. Eventually it's cleared though. And Albie Keith goes back to Kane Brogan. Turbulence in the box. No doubt about that. We oh, sliced that a little bit, the keeper. Not the best. Goes over the head of Tekkers. Ross Glee trying to hold it up. Jamel plays it forward to Tekkers. Tekkers turns. Does well. Nice from Tekkers, finds Couchy. Now what can Couchy do here? Sends it to Albie Keefe, who's onside. Albie, can you deliver now? Puts it in! Looking for Jamie. Defender number four does really well there. Jamel with a throw. Throws it to Ross Gleed. He's won a free kick. Better. It's Tekkers to deliver. There's the ball. Fizz the cross! Oh, and Ryan Adams at the back stick stabs a foot at it. But it goes off for a goal kick. Great delivery. Yeah, Tekkers. That was nice. Just needed a little love touch. <laughs> Stampy's headed that straight into the ground. Jamel's come across. Also put that in an area. And I'll be Keith and Ryan Adams trying to control it, but Hornchurch regain possession far too easily. Oh, Farai's tried to head that back to Jacko. He's going to have to do it a second time, I think. Goes with the feet. Jacko sends it forward. Jamel comes across. Nice ball here for Albi. 
Albie Keith running through the middle now. Stretching his legs like a gazelle. He finds Hurset who hits the shot on the right foot off the ground. Wouldn't that have been something? What a story that would have been. It would be all over the back pages tomorrow of the uh, Hornshots Gazette. Corner in for Hornchurch. It is snowing now here at the Hornchurch Stadium. Oh, and it's a penalty. And I think it's it's Jamel that's given that one away. It is going to be a penalty for Hornchurch. Here we go. Will it be 2 0 to Hornchurch here? Here he comes. Done tour for the penalty. Ooh, it's gone through the net. It is a goal. Net's obviously not properly secured. 2-0 to Hornchurch. Disappointing, Mike, because we've been doing well. Anything could happen in this half. It's, it's really too bad. That's good. Kind of against the run of play, actually. I feel like we've been knocking, 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 and surely an opportunity was going to go our way. Oh, Jamel has just fallen over something there. Go throw it down the line. Jamie Hurst wins the flick on. Come to Isa. Good touch. To Jamel. Back to Isa. Isa does well there to deal with that pass. Puts it down the line for Albie. It's a great ball. Can Albie deliver? Or beat his man? Goes back to Ross Glee. He puts a left footed ball in. Looking for Jamie Hurset. Comes to Couchy at the back stick. Put it back into trouble. Oh, Ross Glee hits it. Gets a corner. I'm telling you, we're knocking on the door. And he also, he's, he's strong. He's physical. He sees the game well. But he's, uh, he's not an aerial presence, so to speak. He's not jumping too high. Ross Glee getting forward here. Does he get a little... Yeah, I thought he got a bit of an ankle flick. It's actually gone through to Albi. He's put the ball in, but no advantage was played. So it's not going to count. But we have put the ball in the back of the net. Can we see the first ever free kick scored for Hashtag United? Seb did score one technically in Chapter 1, but it doesn't count. He's hit it! Oh, and it's in! And that's what we're talking about! Free kick has been scored. You said he lives for it. Indeed, he does. Game on. Two wow. to one. Let's get it. And as I'm, as I'm sitting here in America, we've often said if we had a special teams in soccer like we do in the NFL, Ice would be the man to come on and take those free kicks. And that's why Michael LaBelle. Substitution. LB Keith is going to have a rest. Maverick Gore going to make his first appearance of the season for the first team. He's played a lot in the Sunday, done well with some match winning performances here. Very young, 17 year old player. Loads of potential. George Valentine's going to come on. And uh, Ryan Adams is going to come off. So we'll see George just slot in on the right. This is a very Sunday league uh, attack we've got now with George and Maverick either side of the striker. Wes Tans is going to come on for another cameo. He's going to come on for Couchy. So I imagine might see uh, Isa move forward a little bit. Wes Tanser is on. Fathers, lock up your daughters. Is Wes playing in the 10 roll, Sam? Sam, Wes played in the number 10 role. Go on, Wes. <laughs> Jacko with a kick forward. Wes and Ross <laughs> taking each other out, and that's not what we wanted Wes to do. Headbutt one of our own players. Particularly not Ross Gleed, who's been winning matches for us single-handedly. Is that Wes trying to get in the team, take out another centre mid? Wow. Hope Ross Glee's okay. Head injuries aren't aren't joke, and he's gonna have to go off. I think he might have a cut, maybe. Glee's gonna go off, and uh, I'm not sure who we'll see come on here. Probably see Ricky Evans come on. Yeah, George Valentine comes and meets that throw. Ball gets away from him. Farai chests it down, sends it looking for Maverick Gore, but not enough on it. Gore's not giving it up though. Does well. Plays in the other youngster from the Sunday League team, George Valentine. He's got Gore running off him. He finds him. This is good from the two boys. Ball in the oh. right foot. He's going to fall the edge of the box to Ricky Evans. And what a stop that was from the defender who just threw a leg at it and saved the blushes of Hornchurch there, I think, Mike. Nearly. Nearly. Oh, man. This place would have erupted. Loads of positives to take from this game. Lots of valuable minutes for players on the fringes and injured players and young players. Ricky Evans doing what Ricky Evans does best. Hornchurch take the free kick short. Hashtag weren't ready for it. Ball comes in on the left foot. Oh, where's the marking? That's poor. I'm not sure why Jacko didn't come and claim it and why the defence didn't clear it, but that is a case of us switching off from the free kick, Mike. Kind of got caught in no man's land there. Jacko didn't know if it was going to be the defender getting it, if he should come out. Miscommunication. Good work from Kane to find Wes Tanser. Wes looking to slip George in. 
in behind. Uh, can't control it. And the ref's going to blow the final whistle there. And it's a late goal from Hornchurch to make it 3-1. But it was a tight, tight game. Certainly tighter than the score suggests. So many positives to take. Lots of uh, game time for players who haven't had much recently. And young lads coming through. Maverick Gore getting his first appearance of the season. Mike, what did you make of it? I enjoyed it. It was an entertaining game. Uh, like I said, if we had a little better composure, maybe a little more clinical, we didn't really have a true striker today. I don't think this would be a 3-1 affair. And especially since that last goal, it was late. It wasn't really great. It was a miscommunication on our end. And if, if we were in a different situation, I don't think we would have conceded that. Like If this was drawn even, we've been organized, setting up shop. Yeah, a couple of injuries for Tashan, which I think is going to be a bit more serious than Ross Gleed's injury, which is a head injury. So we hope they're not out for too long. Mike, can you pick a man of the match for us from the hashtag team that impressed you the most today? From the hashtag squad, we've got to give it to Tekker's Guru. He looked active and, and reliable in the second half. Of course, he scored that beautiful free kick. You called it. You said he lives for this moment, and indeed he does. Yeah, well done to Isa. Well done for getting MOM and captaining the team in the later stage of the second half. And we'll go into Devs now to see what he thinks of the game. But lots of positives to take. League action on the weekend on Saturday. Trying to win this league. Let's go. Why did I tell you to play? Behind striker. So why is every time we got a goal kick, you went and challenged our midfielder and Ed butted them? <laughs> Most people you say, go and play in, in the little ten, number 10 role. Think, oh great, I'm going to go, I'm going to play off the forward. You want to go and kick people <laughs> on your own team. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with it, you had to go on because of it. Oh, that was <laughs> um, really, really good. A second half, brilliant, brilliant. Really, really pleased, really pleased. Good effort, everyone. Your application's been tremendous. Your work rate's been terrific. And you deserve better, actually, second half. You deserve better, but I'm not worried about that. Well done, well done, really pleased. I saw a really good test out there tonight. It wasn't the result that we wanted, but how did you feel? Um, do you know what? To be honest with you, we feel a little bit disappointed. Um, first half was a test, but I think we contained them pretty well. Second half, we were on top, and it was just silly goals. So we are a little bit disappointed, to be fair. So that's on a team note. On a personal note, how did you feel? You looked like you played well, and you managed to bag a free kick. Yeah, from a personal note, listen, it's been a, it's been a hard season so far. Obviously, injury. Um, I've had a few issues myself, which the club have really supported. So. Main thing is being back on the pitch, obviously. It's great to be out there and get 90 under my belt. And this is where the video is going to get wrapped up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. In fact, the next game that we want to see you at is going to be a home game, and it is a big one, guys. It is against title contenders, May and Baker. All the links can be found down in the description on how you can get there to keep updated with our socials. But as always, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell. And do not forget to hashtag it. Oh,